Friday the 16th of September, and here I am with a bigger chain. I'm wrapping it around the pipe in the center this time, greasing up the jackals so that they don't pinch metal to metal, lengthening the chain a little bit more, I'm estimating about seven feet there. smooth out the ground over here real quick and then we're going to go to the other side we're gonna go over here a little bit but first I'm going to smooth out this dirt and maybe go and take care of this side of the road here and then I think I'll commence over to the other side of the road so as I've, I've managed to get these nine footers to around the tires girth put large three-quarter inch bolts here that are 13 inches long over to McFaddendale hardware in Corona only the 13 inch bolt had all that thread on it every other one had half the thread like a 9 inch or 10 inch or 11 inch didn't have as much thread on the, on the bolt but this is a three-quarter inch chain I've got two that go around the tire to break up the material, and then this one here is to crane it, hoist it out of the way. Okay, we're going to fire this thing up and see what she's got. Here's the kind of material we're dealing with here. We want to avoid messing up the ground or anything like that at all. But I told him that was just a test spot and I had tracked here about four times. Anyway, we won't do this again. We'll just simply track in and out twice at the most. We're going to go over here and treat this area. See what we can do. But first we'll do the along the road, like I said, this man's going to need to purple, I can't remember the species, but the sagebrush, purple, I cannot remember what that was called, okay, got my sticker up on the machine there, Just to give you an idea on tire size, it's about seven feet tall. Three foot wide. 